What's going on? We're back for pro tip number three of how not to blow up an entire year's worth of progress, gains, whatever you've been working on all year in the month from Halloween through New Year's, all right? Talking about pro tip number three today, it's be intentional and very planned out with the food that you're gonna eat and how you're gonna eat it and when you're gonna eat it, all right? I know there's lots of different strategies for doing this, including the one that a lot of people do, which is I'll just do whatever and gain however much weight I gain from October 31st to no, or December 31st, right? That's what we're trying to avoid. So we talked, I believe, on Monday about just taking your day, the holiday, doing it, enjoying it, not worrying about anything and getting right back on the wagon. We talked about planning your workouts around it uh, yesterday. And let's talk now about how you're gonna plan that food around days where you're not just wanting to blow everything up and take it as like a cheat day or something, right? So a couple different strategies. If you know you got an event coming that night, right? And you know there's probably gonna be tons of really good food and you might just have a little bit of it, but you're not looking to go all out. You kinda wanna stay on track. Well, you're gonna work out that morning, of course, and you're gonna plan to work out the next day, you know, but other than that, let's talk about what to do with food. So you might wanna save a little bit, right, for that night. Okay, but that's not all you're gonna do. You don't wanna go to whatever your event is starving. I've done this before myself. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna be really good. I'm not gonna just blow it all up and then like I don't hardly eat throughout the day and I get to whatever the event is and I'm so hungry and I just start eating a little bit and then when I eat more and more and more, it just goes down and I can't stop because I didn't eat anything throughout the day. So I set myself up to fail because going into this event or party or whatever you, you happen to be attending, you're starving, right? You set yourself up to fail, right? So what you wanna do is eat mainly protein, lean protein and vegetables throughout the day because you know that the party's probably gonna be loaded up with carbs and fats and sugar and you know whatever else is at, is at parties, right? It's usually not lean protein and it's usually not vegetables. And if it is, a vegetable tray is always the last thing left standing at any party. All the other stuff is gone, then you start going and picking through the tomatoes and like maybe some broccoli if there's ranch there and then the celery always gets left behind. You know, like that vegetable tray sitting there, you don't usually eat it, right? It's all the other goodies that you're eating. So eat mainly lean protein and vegetables. And if it's a, t if it's a time where you're not looking to like really, in, you know, just go crazy, make sure you eat right before you go. If you go to a place where they have delicious, you know, unhealthy food waiting for you and you're starving, you're gonna eat it. It's just gonna happen, right? So if you're looking to have a little bit more control, what you're gonna do is make sure you eat a good healthy meal before you get there, right? That's one, one of my strategies. Uh, you know, I've, I've used a lot, but that's, that's one of them, okay? Travel tip, if you happen to be traveling, the single best thing you can pack while traveling, and, and also too, the most under, you know, under consumed nutrient when people are traveling is protein. Protein is the most important. It's gonna help you keep your muscle, it's gonna help you burn fat, and it's the thing that most people struggle to get. This right here is the most important thing that I bring with me when I travel. Whether it's in a car trip, an airplane trip, it's a simple shaker cup filled with a few protein bars and a few single packs of protein. Why single packs and not a bag? Because I have had a big bag of protein explode in my airport bag. I have had um, it blow up in my car. I've had it everywhere. If you get the singles, you just open it up, shake it up, drink it, and throw it away. Same thing with the protein bars. You don't really have to worry about it. You bring this right here. You can hit your protein requirements for the day, help keep all that work you've, you've had, and you don't have to go anywhere to buy it. Another thing I like to do if I'm traveling extended period of time and I have access to the kitchen, whether it's airport or whether it's driving, the first thing I do is go to the grocery store and get the basics, whatever it is, maybe some lunch meat, some nuts, some protein bars or whatever. Just make sure you do that right away. Don't wait until you know something happens. You know you're gonna get busy when you're traveling. You know stuff always happens, don't wait. Either bring it with you or go to the store as soon as you get there. Non-fat Greek yogurt is great. You can mix protein powder with that. A lot of places have cooked chicken or you know canned tuna or whatever it is, lunch meat, whatever you can do, pre-cooked sausages, anything. Get it, have it with you, ready to go. That's how you can navigate some of the holiday travel and not miss your meals, right? 
Again, I'm not telling you to have any no fun. I'm all about having fun. I do it myself. That's what the first tip was. Like, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Blow it up. And then get right back on it, right? Know what you're going to do. Don't starve yourself the day of. That way you're super hungry and you give in to all the temptation. What they say, the, a quote I like sometimes is, you know, the person that seems to have the most self-control is often the person that puts themselves in the situations where they need it the least, right? The people that look like they have most self-control are the ones that have to use it the least, right? So if you're putting yourself around all these situations, you're going to like all these you know, different things and you're starving and you haven't eaten and you're just like, oh, I'm going to be what I'm going to do, whatever. I'm not going to prepare. You probably will fail, right? So make sure you're prepared. Make sure you stick to your meal plan, your meal prep, whatever it is you do normally have that ready to go. That way, when it's time to have, you know, temptation comes, you don't have to just say, oh, you know, fall off the wagon, I guess for this year, right? Stick with it. Get after it. See you guys tomorrow.